Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has appealed to the governorship candidates in Kogi, Imo, and Bayelsa states ahead of the November off cycle election to call their supporters to order to avoid increasing cases of violence in the states. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said this at Abuja at the quarterly consultative meeting with Inter-Party Advisory Council for post-election review, saying such violence always results in altercation and destruction of party property. He urged all political parties to advise their supporters to avoid the use of thugs to disrupt election processes in November. For the governorship elections, sadly, there are already disturbing reports of clashes between opposing parties with claims and counterclaims of innocence or culpability. These claims help no one. Call your supporters to order. At the same time, I must also acknowledge the perennial complaints from some political parties that the power of incumbency is used in some states to restrain some parties and candidates from access to public facilities for media campaigns and outdoor advertising through exorbitant fees or outright denial. This often leads to the mutual destruction of advertising materials such as billboards, resulting in altercation and violence involving supporters of opposing political parties. I would also like to advise political parties to seize the opportunity of the provisions of the law. Any state where the power of incumbency is used to deny other political parties or candidates access to public or state facilities for the purpose of campaign is a violation of the Electoral Act. In his response, while speaking on behalf of other political parties, IPIC Chairman Yusuf Yabagi advised the Commission to ensure that the resident electoral commissioners and returning officers are not pressured by some governors in INEC itself to falsify results in the estates, stating that equity, fairness and justice should prevail. The non-transmission of the presidential election results on the IRF platform at the polling units due to technical glitches remains the elephant in the room. Mr. Chairman, as we approach the off-season elections in Imo, Bayelsa, and Kogi states in November, all hands must be on deck to ensure the resident electoral commissioners and the returning officers are not pressured by some governors and INEC itself to falsify results in their states. With the INEC 23 election review report, stakeholders will now be presented unique opportunity to work together with a view to improve the electoral process for future elections beginning with the three off-season elections in November in Kogi, Bayelsa, and Imo State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.